So we just discovered a fake voting center right now in Orange County. Tried an Orange County business with a vote here sign, but it wasn't an official voting center, we're told. So what happened to any ballots that were cast there? Well, tonight there is an investigation to see if they were thrown away and if any voters were convinced to vote a certain way. And CBS2 Orange County reporter Michelle Gili is live in Westminster with this controversy. Michelle. Well, you guys, ads ran on Vietnamese radio inviting them here with their ballots. Now, it is unclear exactly how many walked through these doors, but now there is an investigation as to whether there was any illegal activity that took place here. Hey, buddy, what's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? Is, is it trash or is it ballots? Election day is over, but an Orange County District Attorney investigation continues into what went on with voters and their ballots at this Westminster campaign office. They, they were misinformed and told that this was an official voting center. This is not an official voting center. Dr. Kimberly Ho is on the Westminster City Council and won her bid for re-election. Her lawyer says many voters for whom English is their second language came to the re-election election office for help. Say if you don't know who to vote for or the myriads of uh, propositions, yes or no, uh, then you can also seek advice here and ask for recommendations or suggestions. You don't have to take them, but uh, you can ask, of course. So a third party, I can help my father fill out his ballot, but you cannot as a candidate uh, or an operative of a campaign be there while somebody is casting their ballot. That is considered undue influence and improper. DA Todd Spitzer says at this point there is no evidence that ballots were discarded. However, allegations from an election protection attorney are that this voter's envelope with a missing ballot was found in a dumpster behind the re-election office in Westminster. You know, some of the voters who came by wanted to uh, 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 have a new ballot because they uh, made a boo-boo on uh, the old ballot and they don't have a printer or they don't know how to access that through the ROV, but that's allowed. It's completely legal and legitimate. Even though the election's over and maybe this didn't affect a close race or whatever, and maybe it did affect a close race, we have to know what the process was and do people follow the law. Now, some of the clips that were shown on social media here at the scene show people wearing Michelle Steele T-shirts. Michelle Steele's campaign denies any involvement in any of this. Steele is running for Congress in this district, and right now she is leading the incumbent by nearly 3,000 votes. That's the latest live in Westminster. I'm Michelle Geely. Back to you. All right. Thanks, Michelle.